Yo, what's going on, everyone? In this video, I'm going to be talking about the XRP ledger and giving you guys some updates of some of the development that's happening behind the scenes. Smart contract functionality is coming to the XRP ledger via hooks. So hooks add smart contract functionality to the XRP ledger. Ripple X was just talking about it yesterday. There's also a project called Evernode that is bringing these powerful smart contracts to the XRPL. It's a important project that I'm watching. So hooks, what will hooks ultimately do to the XRP ledger? I'm going to mention one benefit that's really obvious. That's going to be huge. It's going to create a huge impact to trading on the decentralized exchange, which will be hooks are going to allow traders to put stop loss orders on the decks. So this is going to be huge for people that like to trade. So what is a stop loss order? Lots of traders use it in the traditional market. So stop loss orders are dependent on smart contracts. Here's an example. So if you buy something at $1 and you purchase it and you want to protect yourself, let's say if price hits 90 cents, you could set a sell order, a stop loss order to stop your losses. Maybe it keeps dropping to 89, 88, 87, and you want to prevent that from happening. So you basically put an order uh, and the smart contract will execute that order once it hits um, your target amount. And you could say, I want to sell X amount of tokens, 5,000, 2,000, 1,000 tokens once it hits 90 cents. And this will, you know, allow people to trade and be more cozy. I think you could, especially when we get stables on the XRP ledger, because you could be holding XRP. And then if it hits a certain price target, smart contract executes, you could swap into a stable uh, a stable coin on the XRP ledger. So that's an example of what uh, hooks can bring to a XRP ledger. It's awesome to say, okay, cool hooks and smart contracts are coming to XRP ledger, but give me an example of what that benefits, like what could that give us as an example? So a lot of people mentioned that about XRPL and Sologenic, like how come Sologenic doesn't have stop losses because the XRP ledger does not have native smart contracts in it. When it has this functionality, you'll be able to do that. There's also XLS 40 that's coming out. 40D is decentralized identity on XRPL. So this is your self-sovereign identity defined as your lifetime portable digital identity. So this is going to be coming as an update that the validators will be voting on in the coming, you know, this was just posted two weeks ago. And don't forget, we have XLS 30D, which was posted last June, June 30th, 2022. So liquidity pools automated market making on the XRP ledger. So there's been a lot of new XRPL standards popping up on the GitHub. So that's important to keep an eye on and understand what type of development's happening in the ecosystem. So this is my XRPL uh, updates for you guys today. Peace.